The new JBL Flip 6, what's new, how does it compare with the Flip 5, and is it worth £130 of your money? Let's put it to the test and find out. We'll leave that in there. <laughs> Hey guys, Louis here from Smart Home Sounds and I'm back with another portable speaker review for you all. Now today I've got my hands on the new JBL Flip 6, the next generation of their very popular Flip portable speaker released this month in November 2021. Now I've been testing it out over the last few days and comparing it with other similar models in this market to help you guys decide if this speaker is right for you. Now in this review, I'll cover the speaker's design, sound performance, battery life, durability, and chat about any additional handy features and ultimately answering the question, should you buy the Flip 6 now the Flip 5 is cheaper or should you jump to the Charge 5 for an extra 30 pounds? Now I'm gonna link everything below for you guys in the description and make sure you get in the comments with your opinions. We always love to hear what you guys think. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this thing then get it out of the box. So we'll unfold it here. Got a really nice little piece of artwork here. Bold sound for every adventure. So I'm assuming in here, the usual stuff, the information, all that kind of thing, USB-C charger. So we'll put that to one side. And here it is. This is the Flip 6. Now on first impressions, this actually looks very, very similar to the Charge 5 rather than the Flip 5. I think, Adam, can you just chuck me the Flip 5 and the Charge 5, mate? There we go. So we've got the Flip 5 and this one here, the Charge 5. So I've put them all in front of me. You can definitely tell, if we move the Flip 5 to one side for a sec, just how similar the design is in the Flip 6 in comparison to the Charge 5. So that's actually quite ironic because of course the Flip 6 is the upgrade on the Flip 5 and it does bring about some pretty substantial changes from the Flip 5 including an upgraded design, slight upgrade in durability and upgraded sound performance while retaining the now distinctive shape and size all for $129.99 which is £10 more than the RRP of the previous generation. Okay yeah so as I was saying when you put all of these speakers side by side you can see that the... Ah. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, when you put all of these speakers side by side, you can see that the Flip 6 does look far more like the Charge 5 than its predecessor, the Flip 5. So you've got this nice big JBL logo across the front, which for me, I think looks far more modern. I really prefer that design over the Flip 5. And it's also got less of the plastic that you've got on the Flip 5 here. Again, helping to make it look a bit more modern and more sleek, in my opinion. In fact, in our portable speaker showdown, one of the things that was a bit off-putting with the Flip 5 was the plasticky feel, which made it feel far less premium. They've really combated that with this new design and it feels a lot more stylish and modern, and it's now a design that I really am a fan of. You've still got the control buttons on the top here and then the power button and Bluetooth buttons on the bottom and a handy power indicator here. In fact, even the strap feels like it's had a nice upgrade. Even on the side, the drivers here are actually the same design as the Charge 5. The material wrapped around feels the exact same, but the material around the edge of the drivers must be different as it's softer than the hard plastic on the Flip 5. Size-wise, the Flip 6 is the same dimensions as the Flip 5 here. So that's 178 mil wide, 68 mil high, and 72 mil deep. It also weighs in at 550 grams, so you could easily chuck this in a rucksack, no problem at all. So I'm just gonna have a quick look online and see what different color options you can get the Flip 6 in. So it looks like it launched, we've got four different colors. We've got the black, which we've obviously got here. Uh, we've got a gray, a red, and a blue. But I have seen online that there are plenty more color options, so hopefully they'll be coming a little bit later. And I do need to read these out for you guys because the marketing department must have had a field day coming up with these names. So we've got a dusty pink, a gray stone, river teal, fiesta red, ocean blue, Midnight Black, Steel White, Forest Green, or Squad, which I'm assuming is the camouflage color. So I've spent a few days putting this speaker to the test, so let's kick off with the sound as I know you guys like to get stuck in with that. So as I mentioned at the start, the Flip 6 brings some upgrades in sound performance. So it's still got the racetrack shaped drivers that are still in the Flip 5, but it's now got a separate tweeter and dual passive radiators, which means we should get some extra detail and power in our sound tests. Now it's also got 30 watts of power output, 20 from the woofers and 10 from the driver compared with the 20 watts in total from the Flip 5. So that's quite a big step up. 
a 50% increase on total wattage on paper. Now before I play some music for you guys, I need to highlight that there's also a JBL portable app, which is a big thing to be aware of. Now this lets you tweak a few things on your speaker and get any new updates and product support. Now a big first is you can now adjust the EQ settings on the Flip 6, something not currently available on previous generations like the Flip 5 or the Charge 5. So if I open up the app and show you, you'll see that you can now tweak the bass, mids and treble. If you're a JBL user and have been for years, then you'll be thinking like I was, about time with EQ adjustments. It's nothing groundbreaking, three sliders, but it does make a difference and I'm glad they've added this. I found that the speaker sounded best for me when I bumped up the bass by two, left the mids as they are and took the treble down a bit. I'll explain all of that in more detail after the sound test, but for the purpose of this test, I'm going to leave all three as they are at zero and then I'll show you at the end the difference when you change the EQ settings. I'll show you the Flip 6 at different volumes and also compare it with the Flip 5 for you guys. On the whole, I really am impressed with the audio performance of the Flip 6. It's certainly an upgrade from the Flip 5. It really does offer great bass for its size and overall I think it gives a very nice warm sound with decent levels of mid bass. It's definitely a better bass response at lower volumes than the Flip 5. And on the whole, I feel like it offers a more balanced and warmer sound performance. The Flip 6 is very mid bass heavy, which is where that warmth comes from. But I would say that the Flip 5 was a bit stronger in the upper bass. For me, the 6 is a clear improvement and 100% better balanced for a more pleasing sound performance. I do have some qualms with the sound performance at higher volumes though. It becomes more harsh up in the higher volumes of 80% and above and that's why the EQ is so important and probably this speaker's saving grace. If you like to listen loud and the kind of person that keeps the volume over 70%, I would definitely drop that treble down to around minus two and bring the bass up to around plus two, then you start enjoying the performance at those higher volumes. I do think it's a bit disappointing that they've not managed to offer an enjoyable sound performance out of the box at higher volumes. Lower volumes, great and great with bass. Upper volumes, you need to play around with the EQ. Now let me know in the comments what you guys think of the sound performance. On to battery life then. So there are no changes here as both the Flip 5 and the Flip 6 offer 12 hours of battery life, which really isn't bad and it will definitely do well for a day or two. Now it's not winning any awards, but I don't have many complaints with that battery life. The Flip 6 is charged via USB-C and also offers charge and protection, which means that you'll hear an alert to unplug the speaker if it detects that there's any water, salt, or things like that in the charging port to ensure that it doesn't damage the speaker. That's actually quite cool. Yeah, right? it is. yeah that's cool. On to the durability test then. Now we put the previous generation, the Flip 5, thoroughly to the test in our review and we were really impressed with how it held up, but we always love an opportunity to chuck a speaker around and see how it holds up. Now the Flip 6 takes durability one step further than the Flip 5 with an upgraded IP rating of 67 compared with X7. Now what that means is that it still has the same waterproof rating so it can be fully submerged in up to one meter of water for up to 30 minutes but it now is also completely dust tight and offers full protection against dust ingress.
So I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of an up close of the Flip 6 after a couple of drop tests. I think we've done about four or five so far. Um, we've dropped a couple sort of flat like this and then a couple upright. And to be honest with you guys, if you look here, the actual material of the speaker is pretty much intact. There's no cuts, there's no scratches, there's no dents, anything. So it's really, really hard wearing this fabric material. Obviously, as you can see on the logo, the JBL logo here, we just wait for that train. Okay, so back to it. As I was saying, on the JBL logo, obviously where we've landed it face down, it has took away a little bit of the paint there. And some of these top controls, you can see this one here and the, the plus button and the play button. There's a little bit of, a, of wear and tear there. But the major damage has come on the top here on this rubber material. Now, what's interesting is that this is a little bit um, more flimsy, um, a little bit more rubber-like than what's on the Flip 5. So when we drop tested the Flip 5, we noticed obviously a little bit of, of scratching and that kind of thing around the rubber on the outside, but nowhere near the extent of the damage that we've got here on the Flip 6. I think if you can get a close up here, mate, of the, you can see there how it's just completely cut through this rubber. So that is something to bear in mind, but overall really happy with, um, with how durable this speaker is. I mean, we've obviously taken it to the extreme. We've been dropping it from seven, eight foot high. Um, you know, but if you were to just drop it on the concrete, on the grass, on a bit of gravel from a couple of feet, which is likely where you're going to be dropping it from, if you do drop it, then I'd imagine you'll be absolutely fine with it. Yeah, I think we got a little bit carried away there. But as you can see, we really did put this speaker to the test and it held up very well. Honestly, I would feel totally confident taking this anywhere with me, whether that's mountain biking, hiking, or whatever it might be. And if you've watched any of our portable speaker comparison videos before, then you'll know that I expect and need my portable speaker to be as durable as possible, to be taken away with me on my travels and adventures. Now, previously, the Flip 5 was a high scorer in this area for me. I do think that the harder plastic around the edge of the speaker is more durable, but I'm still happy with the durability of the Flip 6. Connectivity wise, this new generation also features upgraded Bluetooth from version 4.2 on the Flip 5 to 5.1 on the Flip 6, which is good and it keeps it right up to date with the latest tech improvements. Now Bluetooth 5.1 expands the wireless range from 10 meters to around 40, which is a big, big upgrade. Now I've tested the connectivity out and the range did drop out around about the 40 meter mark, which is what I think you probably wanna be at at your maximum when you're controlling the speaker around your home or out and about. Now you can also connect two devices wirelessly, which is handy if you want to connect your phone and your partner's phone without having to disconnect one or the other. Another handy feature to mention is Party Boost, which lets you link multiple compatible JBL speakers for boosted sound performance. So you can actually pair up to 100 speakers, so that's great news if you've got a lot of money to burn or you've got 99 friends, but I'd imagine the most common use case would be pairing two or maybe three speakers to boost up the volume for parties and that kind of thing. Now, one thing that is important to highlight is that the Party Boost is different from the Connect Plus version on some of the older JBL speakers. Now, annoyingly, Party Boost isn't backwards compatible with Connect Plus speakers, so you cannot pair a new JBL speaker with an older model. Now, the Flip 5 context was also Party Boost, so if you've got a Flip 5, you can get that connected up to a new Flip 6. So you've got the Flip 5 for £89 or the Flip 6 for £129. What are you getting? I'll be honest and say if you're coming in fresh and can stretch yourself to the six, then that would be my move. I way prefer the design and the sound is more enjoyable in my opinion, and you're getting the latest tech available plus those EQ adjustments in the app. But if you're happy with the design of the five and liked how that sounded in our sound test, then save yourself some cash and grab one of those while you can. The Flip 6 is not an absolute game changer. There's nothing revolutionary here. And if you've already got a Flip 5, then I wouldn't be running out to upgrade, but there is more of a change and improvement than I was expecting. At lower volumes, this is up there with my favorite sound from a portable speaker at this price. And though initially disappointed with the performance at higher volumes, I'm happy with how I've got it following some tweaks. As I was already a fan of the Flip 5, the Flip 6 might become my new portable speaker for taking on the go. The combination of the durability and this very hard wearing design with an enhanced sound performance and more stylish design makes this a great contender in a very, very crowded market. Now, if you do have a bigger budget and are happy with the heavier design, then you could always go for the Charge 5 and that could be a really tempting option for you. But for me, I'm happy with the Flip 6. As I said, it's not groundbreaking, but it is a step up from the previous model. Comment down below, are you tempted by the Flip 6?
I'll link everything in the description below for you guys to check out. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did and you want to join the community, then hit the subscribe button. We're on the road to 50K, so why not help us get there just in time for Christmas? Thank you guys very much for watching and we'll see you all in the next video.